Welcome to my video series on bushcraft knife techniques. In this first episode, I'm going to demonstrate how to properly execute the chest lever grip. Alright, so the chest lever grip, one of my favorite go-to bread and butter techniques. I love it because the knife doesn't move very much, we limit over travel, which is always good. And what we're working on is right here, close to my eyes, so I can really see what I'm doing. The first step in executing this technique properly is having the correct grip. So let's go through that first. I want to lay the knife in my hand like this, with the edge facing out and the blade flat. And from here, I'm just going to roll my fingers to close on the on the handle and put my thumb on the flat of the blade. You can see our knives have a thumb ramp here. I've been doing that since 2006. I think we were the first people who ever um, did these thumb ramps and thumb scallops. And the reason I did that is because I used to have, before we started making our own knives, I was just using standard uh, bushcraft knives and they always had a big a big edge right there and so to do these techniques really irritated my thumb so I started just taking a belt sander and, and ramping the handles like this and so when we made our own knives uh, you'll notice that they all feature that and this is why so the thumb goes right on the flat of the blade like that and now the knife comes in nice and tight uh, and it's called the chest lever grip because you'll notice my forearms are levering against my rib cage like this. So I'm going to pull with both hands and lever against my rib cage. And you can see I can get a ton of power like this when the and the knife hardly hardly moves at all. So that's the technique. Now let's look at a couple mistakes because I think it's as important to see the wrong way to do it as it is to watch me demonstrate the correct way. The primary mistake I see is right off the bat people hold the knife incorrectly. They want to hold the knife like this with the thumb on the spine and this is just an inherently weak grip. The only time we ever use our thumb on the spine is for push cuts and stop cuts and we'll talk about that in another episode. But I don't want to do this. What I want again is to hold that knife, rotating it so that it's uh, flat in my hand like this, curling my fingers around and thumb on the top. So if you are doing this technique and you look down and you see the back of your hand, that is incorrect. Whether or not your thumb is on top or your thumb is wrapped around in more like a regular hammer grip and you're trying to do this where you're looking at the back of your hand, that is not right. So again, rolling it like this. Um, when I look down, I'm seeing uh, my thumb and the side of my hand. Another common mistake is only using one hand or the other. So if you're only using your right hand or the knife holding hand, it looks like this, where this is, st is static and you're just pulling with this knife holding hand like that. That's not correct. You're only getting half as much power as you should be getting. And the same if you're only using the hand that's holding the stick to pull across the blade. And that looks like this. So you can see the knife isn't moving and I'm just pulling with my with my left hand. So be sure when you're doing this that both hands are engaged. It feels to me like I'm elbowing somebody behind me like with both elbows. That's 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 the motion. Okay, another um, Another common mistake is holding too far out, just in general, having everything out here. Um, and you can see I really don't have any power at all or control. So I want to lock everything into my ribs and keep everything nice and close. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video. Thanks so much for watching. And please like and subscribe. I am trying to rebuild this channel. Uh, if you enjoy this content, you can also pick up my book, 21st Century Bushcraft. It's available on our website, and you can check that out in the link below. In the meantime, I will see you in the next episode.